you mentioned uh, Willie uh, a few minutes ago, but I, you know, as a fan and also working in this industry, you just kind of assume that everybody knows everybody. They work together at some point in their career. And it's always a surprise to find that they haven't. And I know y'all been friends a long time, but I found it really interesting that you had never recorded together. Yeah, we never had. And I've always admired Willie, just like so many others. Uh, but I go all the way back to when Willie was uh, extremely clean cut with a tie and all <laughs> that, performing on the Ernest Tubbs, uh, uh, you know, TV show. And, and Willie was so straight laced, you know, and everything and, and had so many great songs, Mr. Record Man, Darkness on the Face of the Earth. And I used to do all these songs. <laughs> and uh, I certainly never would have dreamed of being able to sing with him. Uh, and I probably wouldn't have if it hadn't been for his daughter, Paula. Uh, but she got with, with, uh, with Dallas and, and, and got my got my number from, from him. And she called me, Paula Nelson called me at home. And she said, you know, uh, she said, I don't know whether you know it or not, but she said, my dad really, really thanks a lot of your singing. And he said, uh, the, the two biggest regrets that he has as far as a career goes is one of them. He got an invitation from Frank Sinatra to come hang out with him, you know, spend some time with him. And he didn't do it. He went in and got on the bus and went out touring. That's his biggest regret that he's got. And she said, the second biggest regret is when he got invited to sing on one of your songs and he didn't make it over there. And uh, she said, I know that he would love to talk to you. And, and I was, by that time, I was flabbergasted. I didn't know what to say, but I said, that, well, that'd be great, you know? So she gave me his number and, uh, and I called him and he was in Hawaii. And we sit there and talked and talked and, and Willie had been doing one of my songs in his show and, and I had heard it and, and everything. And, and, and we got to talking and, and he was telling me how he had loved to do that song with me. And by that time I'm, I'm flying around the room backwards. I don't know what to think. And I told him, I said, well, to sing a song with you would be one of the ultra highlights of my career, you know? And he said, well, just which one would you want to do? And I said, well, it, it's a song that you wrote years ago and I named it all off to him and I and I told him uh, uh, what future behind me got a wonderful future behind me uh, he said I'm in <laughs> just like that and I said wow and he told me however I wanted to handle it just just get after it well we went in the studio and we were laying tracks down to this song and I had never sung it before I loved it and I'd been listening to it, but I'd never sung it before. But we went to the studio and we were laying down tracks and I sung the vocal side of it, just like if I was doing it solo. And we kept the, the scratch track and uh, then we shipped it to Willie and he put his vocal on there and sent it back. And I just, I really, really love the way it turned out. And, and from what I hear, Willie loved it too. Thanks to Buddy Cannon, his producer, for hooking us up and everything and getting that done. But I'm so looking forward to the fans out there hearing a duet with me and Willie. I have to ask you, did you did you re-record it or did you leave the scratch track on there? It's still the scratch track. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a, so when you look at there, I see a wonderful future with yeah. Willie. Uh, I, it's probably a scratch track on him too. But yeah, the first time I ever sung it, we kept it. You know, that, that is that is something else because, it, you know, I mean, for people to have a voice like that, which leads me to this. And I, uh, you have one of the most incredible voices in our industry. And I don't mean just country music. I mean, in our music industry and uh, one of the constants with a conversation about you to anyone is that, God, he sounds so good. And you can't when you listen back to your records from years ago to now, you still have that incredible voice. And uh, so many people have literally blown out their voice singing too much, too late, too often, too much drink, too much whatever. Yeah. You know, and, and well, uh, I, I'm, what I can advice think, can you give to people? Well, I can only thank good Lord above that, that I, I wised up in a lot of ways, I might, I might say. I used to smoke like a freight train, you know, I smoked so much and, 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 uh, when I was younger and, and I drank, I drank too much, you know, I mean, I don't mean I was out of hand, but I, I drank more than I should. 
Well, I celebrated a few months ago, 42 years since I quit drinking. And I quit smoking about 35 or 36 years ago. Uh, I figured, well, you know, if I'm going <laughs> to live long enough to, to have a, a career, I better kind of take care of myself. And so I try to get all the rest I can. And that because when I get tired, my voice is the, the one, you know, one place that it hurts me. So I try to get all the rest I can, but I don't do that much different. Uh, Shannon, I, like I say, I try to take care of it, but I keep my fingers crossed and, and ask the good Lord up above to help me every time I kick one off, you know, and, and it's been good to me. And, and I so appreciate all the fans feeling that way. And you, you're a, you're a great critic. You, you know, you know how to dice and slice a song and, and pick out the goods, the bads and differences. And, and to come from you, I mean, that, that's a great compliment and I appreciate it, but it's not all me. Uh, the good Lord gave me the voice. He can take it away anytime he wants to. I just try my best to use it to the best of my ability. Well, you have definitely, like even just the things you described, you've taken good care of your voice. And I think that's great advice to young artists coming through right now, you know. That's, that's the I, best advice I can give. I always think of uh, the artists who have um, been here for a while and throughout the time of my career. I mean, you, for instance, your songs have been forever in my life. There's never been a day in my life there hasn't been a Gene Watson song. But, you know, not, a lot of new, uh, newer artists that are coming through right now, they have uh, vocal coaches and uh, you can go to the hospital and have a, a vocal doctor and, you know, things that weren't around not so long ago. So yeah. they, they have more resources now. Well, you know, there's times that, that I always pick myself apart. I don't think I've ever left the stage that I was 100% satisfied with what I did. But at the same time, uh, I can say that when I left the stage, I left it all out there. I gave <laughs> everything I had. And, and, you know, after I do that, that's all I can do. Uh, they may not like what I left, what I did, but they can't say I didn't give it my best. Well, after charting 75 songs so far, and <laughs> yeah, and still recording these fantastic albums and songs, you're, Definitely outside the box. You've you've always been an, an artist that is uh, that has shined through on on your music and your songs. Your your song choice. Holy cow, Batman! I mean, <laughs> you, 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 you always. That's the thing about this industry. If you don't write it, you got to be good at picking it. And uh, you've always been good at picking the right song for your voice. I, and that's what I've always said. Uh, you know, if it, I think if there was any talent in me, it was for knowing the type of music for Gene Watson. And, and I've always been critical about that. And, uh, and I, I just really appreciate you saying that because I do take a lot of pride in it. And, and there's been a lot of songs that I've passed and turned on, you know, turned down and everything that, that, that came out and was hits for other people. And they, and people say, Oh, I bet you wish you would have stayed with that. Well, no, because, because it was a hit for someone else don't mean it would have been for me. Yeah. So, I've got to, I've got to stick with my gut feeling and, and it's, it's been working so far and, and I guess I'll stick with it. We're celebrating <laughs> 60 years. So uh, the, the, the people's about, bound to be liking something. So I just appreciate the fans and, you, and of course you people that, that help us out so much like yourself. Uh, you've kind of kept us in the game because there's a lot of highs and lows, you know, and so many disappointments and everything. So you've got to wade through a, a, a lot to, to keep going and, and uh, uh, with a lot of help from the fans and like I say, people to do what you do and, and give us the, you know, the, the good words and the write-ups and all that. Well, I've, I've managed to make it to 60 years and, and uh, this is our 60 year uh, tour that we're celebrating right now. And, and if it wasn't for, for you guys and the fans, we couldn't, we couldn't make it, but there's no better fans in the world than Gene Watson fans. I've said that all along and I still say it. Yeah. They're, they're waiting for this record to come out too. I'm telling you. Uh, and thank you for saying that. And, and I feel the same way. Uh, I couldn't be in radio and broadcasting without great music from people like you. So thank you, Gene. Well, we go back a long ways. I appreciate it. Outside the box. That's it.